Did you all hear that, DP? Do you want Katie back at our high school? Well, now you have an opportunity to make that happen by submitting a two-minute video to the Roar with Katy Perry contest. And this week's Kobe's Corner found some individuals that definitely have the eye of the tiger and roared their way to success. To me, Kobe's Corner is a vessel containing knowledge throughout which all beings can contain it. The idea behind Kobe's Corner is that there's so many interesting student-related issues slash stories going on in this very high school that students are unaware of. Students are doing so many cool things who go to this high school, Dos Pueblos, and I just think they should get some recognition for it. Which brings us to our first story of Kobe's Corner, Season 2. Did you know that Dos Pueblos has our very own color guard team? Now, what does it mean to be on the color guard team? What do they do, you might ask yourself? Do they guard color? Do they march with the marching band? I had an opportunity to talk with the captains of Color Guard. Um, a main thing of what we are is we are the flag, sabers, rifles, and we've actually incorporated a hula hoop. Um, not a lot of teams actually have one. It's a mix of jazz, ballet, a any type of dance you can really think of has been oriented into this. We perform in competitions and we perform at the football games at halftime. We got first in what, what three competitions? Four uh, competitions? Almost four. four competitions last year we got first. Of course, it takes a lot of dedication. There's always practices. It's not anything super, super rigorous, but it is it is time consuming. You do have to put effort into it. Go DP Color Guard, join. Up, Blake Parrish. Blake's also won three individual Channel League events over the past two years in swimming, including breaking a 31 year old Channel League record in the 100 breaststroke this last season. He's also a member of the medley relay team of Alex Valente, Walker Bell, and Grant Schroeder, who broke the Channel League record. Blake's also on the first team Channel League in water polo and has been a member of the United States Youth National Team for the last three years, competing in Puerto Rico, Argentina, Holland, and Serbia. He just returned from winning his second silver medal at the Pan American Games in Buenos Aires, Argentina last month. Blake Parrish! On the other end of the field, senior Stem Scarvelis puts her own stamp on what it means to be a Charger. Twenty-third in Medellin, Colombia, our senior Stam Scarvelis brought home the gold in the shot put division for the Pan American Junior Championships. Pan American is all the Americas, so I competed against Canada, uh, Cuba, Colombia, Bahamas, Jamaica. Although she excels at shot put, she also has a variety of other hobbies. Well, I am a part of our leadership. Uh, class. I'm the senior class vice president. I am an editor in the Charger account. Um, I play the piano, uh, which has helped a lot. I've played it since I was in like first grade. Stam through the shot put ball an amazing 50 feet. That's this far. And the shot put ball itself weighed almost as much as two world history textbooks. There's not many people in the world who can do that. But our very own Stam Scarvelis can. Stam challenges you to come to this very Greek on Friday to see how far you can throw two history textbooks. This has been the first episode of Kobe's Season 2. Thank you all for watching. It really warms my heart. You can follow up with the Kobe's Corners on the Kobe's Corner Facebook page, or you can go to kobescorner.dpnews.org to see all the latest Kobe's Corners. I'll see you next time. I'm Kobe Coffer, signing off.